Hey guys, uh, we are going to be reading through Colossians 2, um, but for those of you guys that are following along, some of you may be following along in real time, some of you may not even be following uh, this far yet, um, but what I am going to do after I'm done reading the King James Version of the Bible, I'm probably going to start reading uh, the New King James Version of the Bible, and I have a different way I might be doing that. It will still be 66 books in 66 weeks, uh, but I found mathematically that if I read um, three chapters a day um, over the course of 66 weeks, uh, doing six, uh, six days a week, three chapters, six days a week, will equal 66 weeks. Uh, pretty cool. So I thought that was kind of neat. And it actually works out almost evenly. There's like a 0.7 or something. At the end of that, I mathematically did it on a calculator. That's how cool we are. But so I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue this after the King James Version is done. I'm probably going to jump into the New King James Version. And then I'm going to start doing other versions as well, because I'm interested in what the different versions have to say. Uh, I know the King James, I know the New King James, uh, but I'm not really overly sure about like the English Standard Version and all those other ASB and all that stuff. So uh, those ones I will also be reading through eventually, given enough time, if the Lord allows me to live that long and able to do what I'm doing. For now, no. For now, though, let's stay where we're at, and uh, we are reading Colossians two today. Let's pray, and we'll get started. Father, we love you, and we thank you. We praise you, Father God, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We praise you, Lord, for giving it to us um, in in every language, almost. I'm sure there's some languages yet that have to be uh, that your word has to be translated into, Lord. But uh, most languages are. Uh, you know, have your word in them and in more than one translation. So we just praise you, Father God, for the availability of your word. And we thank you, Lord, for these words today. We do pray, Lord, that you would bless us as we read through. And we pray, Lord, that you would show us what you want us to see in this chapter. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Colossians chapter 2. For I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the Spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware! lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom ye also are, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses." blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. 
Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of an holy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which, ye, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility, and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head, from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment, ministered and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which are all which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. Which things have indeed a shoe of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. God bless the reading of his word today.